What would you do if your Instagram account was hacked? It's becoming more of a threat to users and for businesses relying on social media for their revenue, it's even worse. With online shopping making up 26.5% of all of last year's UK retail trade, the use of social media has become integral to thousands of businesses. Well, that is certainly the case for London-based luxury watch and bag reseller Love Luxury, who bring in roughly 90% of their revenue through social media. But last month, their social accounts were plunged into darkness as online scammers were able to get them taken down from Instagram, blackmailing them for cash in order to get them back. This is otherwise known as phishing. Refusing to pay up, they attempted to reach out to Meta for help. We went down to their Knightsbridge store to hear their story, which is becoming all too familiar with businesses up and down the country. My name is Adam Abraham. I'm the director of Love Luxury in Knightsbridge. We buy and sell pre-owned luxury items such as Hermes Chanel handbags, Rolex, uh, Patek AP Richemin watches, along with Cartier and Van Cleef jewelry. Social media is very important to us. Um, so we're now on around 300,000 followers. We've been running it for two years, and a lot of the social, a lot of Instagram for us is about getting the products out to the clients who actively look on our socials to find new products which they then come to us and buy. I would say in regards to the amount of um, people or revenue that comes from social media would be around 90% of our business. So without social media, it, our business would not be possible to run. Our accounts went down last month. I received a message from someone that had threatened the company um, and all of our socials, including my personal socials, my wife, my daughter, along with our brand Love Luxury here. They made out to be like an organization called Global Media and their accounts manager had messaged me. They had multiple ways of trying to scam. Um, I remember, I mean, like one of them was stating that some of our content or our content was their content. All the content is made in-house with, in with an in-house team. They started to report posts before the organization had sent me a message stating they wanted um, a certain amount of money to sort of not go through the process of getting our accounts taken down. Um, and then once they sent the message, I went, I then realized that, you know, I felt as if though they were, it was just someone trying their luck. Within 40 hours after the message, um, the accounts were taken down. I was like, wow. Um, you know, like we got logged out and nobody could log in again. We couldn't find our account. It says user unavailable. Try to log in. It says your account has permanently been deleted and you will not be able to use Instagram again. And I, and I was like, oh my God, like, you know, how is that even possible? We were really scared at the time, to be honest with you. We felt some type of, you know, we felt some type of way because it was like our whole business has now just gone from being, you know, successful on social media to us not being on social media. Um, and the staff were really worried as well. I remember that, you know, when we messaged everyone saying our socials, socials are down and they could permanently be, be, be down forever. They felt as if though their jobs could be at risk. Um, and that to me was like, oh my God, wow, you know, people can essentially, you know, we've got four or five people working on social media and that could, you know, it, it affects everyone in the company and the company and the business running at the same time. touch with Meta and they were just like no you've you've you know you've made these errors on your account and it's permanently permanently deleted um, and we got quite a few responses stating the same thing and at that point it was like we need to really put our foot down and find other ways and speak to someone in Meta that can help and um, we found it very difficult to be honest with you and very stressful um, for around 48 hours but because we've got such a big team we had I think around five or six people messaging different people at the same time and trying to find routes around this issue. Um, and yeah, and I think that our team is strong enough um, and that's the reason why we were lucky enough to get our account back. A lot of the people out there won't be that lucky and it shouldn't be difficult to deal with Meta at all. You know, we should be able to send someone, like especially I would say have a dedicated manager for at least 1,000 accounts or 10,000 accounts um, that, are, that are like verified in the UK, sort of, you know, help them get through the process. And I was shocked that there aren't things in place to protect like legitimate companies, but I, I can imagine like Instagram being such a big company, I did believe there'd be something in place. 
but I didn't realize that it would be this difficult for people to get their accounts back. So for me, also it's about awareness that people who are in the same situation have the right help they need in order for them to maintain their lives. At the same time, people run their lives on socials now. So it's very important that um, people are, or that you know, there's a team of people in place to sort of protect legit companies that are using socials for their business. Good to hear Adam and Love Luxury got their accounts back, but there are many businesses who don't have the resources to get the help from Meta. Like we've just heard, we tried to get a response from Meta regarding why it's so easy for scammers to get accounts taken down and why Love Luxury's pleas for help weren't initially believed, but we got no response. On Instagram's website, there are plenty of links on how to best safeguard your account, but if you've been fished and want to actually get in touch with Meta, there's just one email to use, which is the problem Love Luxury found. The National Cyber Security Centre have a step-by-step -step guide, including updating software on accounts using the services support pages and protecting your accounts using a two-factor authentication, but they advise to get in contact with contact action fraud. Is your account protected sufficiently? It might just make the difference for your social media business.